Hi guys, it's John from Creative Tap. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing I'm going to be showing you how to disintegrate a mesh using the end cloth and vortex field. Okay, so what I'm going to do is very quickly create a basic mesh, um, something along the lines of this. Let's just pretend this is a guy. Um, so I'm just going to add some subdivisions in there. So I've got faces to work with. Let's go 40 by 40, and let's go. Round about, oh, too many. Ah, too many in the caps actually. It's bringing us down 15, chuck us up to 40. Okay, I just want loads of faces to work with basically, because um, it'll be with that method that we disintegrate. Um, I also want to triangulate my mesh, so if I go to mesh and triangulate, um, there we go. I've got a tri triangulated mesh now. Okay, awesome. Now, if I were to select a face like so and start pushing and pulling it around, you can see it's, it's still attached. Okay, and we don't want that. So what I want you to do is select all of your vertexes in vertex mode, go to edit mesh and then detach. Okay. So now when we select faces, we should be able to have them completely separated. Yep. Yeah, like so. So if we go for this one, all separated. Okay. Excellent. So what we need to do next is we need to go back to object mode, make sure it's selected and go to the effects tab end cloth and create end cloth. Now the problem you'll have here is when you create an end cloth you get the nuclear system which has gravity so if I would start playing you'll see it just starts falling down okay and they're all sort of they are starting to detach um, so um, that's not what we want though we don't want the gravity so I'm going to go into my nucleus node and take the gravity down to zero we won't have that problem now anymore okay this is it so nothing's happening. Um, but obviously, we want something to happen. So, what I need you to do now is we want to select our mesh in object mode, go to fields and solvers, and then go to vortex. And I'm going to click the option box, just um, reset settings because I was playing around. Um, and now we will click create. Okay, so we should have this little gizmo by here. Okay. Um, all we want to do now is kind of play around with the magnitude. So I think I'm going to go to 50, type that in there, and let's kind of see what happens to our mesh now. So I'll put this a little bit closer. Okay, go back to the beginning and start playing. Okay, so I think maybe that's a little bit too big. But you can see kind of what's going on. Oh, a bit crazy. Um, so let's just let that play through again and then I'll stop it uh, when it gets to about 50 frames. Okay, so yeah, you can see that's that's a little bit too crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my magnitude down to 25. Let's kind of see what happens there. Okay, I'm liking that a bit more. Um, boom. Um, what I may also do is move this just kind of behind, like so. Okay. Now I'll give it another preview. It's getting blown away. So if this is a more complex kind of model, more complex mesh, um, not just a cylinder, you know, you can, you can have crazy effects. You can up the magnitude and kind of if you wanted to you could animate the position of this vortex field um, so you get loads of crazy results um, and it works with textures on there as well so let's just go to material attributes let's chuck um, just a checkerboard on there I think I'm not going to bother with UV in it um, chuck a checkerboard on go to our checkered mode um, yeah that'll be fine so just to put just to show you it works with the texture on there as well um, yeah, it starts getting pretty crazy. Um, so once you've kind of perfected this with whatever model you're using, um, if someone wants to do it on a Thanos model, then that would be awesome. If you've watched uh, Infinity War, you'll probably get that joke. Anyway, um, once you've done that, you can always select the object, go to Cache, Alembic Cache, and export selection to Alembic, just so it'll kind of run a lot quicker. Okay, so um, cheers to tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Leave us some comments on what you want to see next. Give us a subscribe and a like. Check out our other videos and hopefully see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.